Hey guys, how's it going? It's No Average Nerd here, bringing you something a little different today. Uh, today I'm going to be walking you through how to set up a PlayStation 1 emulator on your computer. Um, I've been making Spyro the Dragon videos, uh, gameplay videos, and I've had a request uh, asking me how to get that set up so you can do it yourself. It's actually not that hard, and uh, most older computers should be able to run this as well, so if you've got an older PC sitting around that you want to put to good use, uh, this is something that you... Um, uh, you would be able to do with them. Uh, so as you can see here, I've got two different pages open. The link for each one of these is going to be in the description down below. I'm also going to put an annotation right about here and right about here for both of these pages. Um, on the left one here, we have a download for the emulator itself. I use uh, the PSX emulator. Uh, it's, it's not as popular as uh, some of the other ones out there, but it's the most reliable and the most stable one that I've found. I've tried EPSXE before, and um, uh, there's a few other ones that I've tried. Uh, EPSXE is good on mobile devices, so you can actually do this on your cell phones as well. Um, but for the computer, I like PSX the best. So what you're going to do is you're going to click this to download this file. And then over here in this window, um, what you also need to do after you get the emulator is you need to have the BIOS file for the PlayStation 1 itself. So there's going to be a link for this page as well. You're going to scroll through this list until you get down to the option that says PSX BIOS Pack 15 Images. Go ahead and download those. And after you've downloaded both of those files, files you're going to have them both uh, zipped up in files on your desktop. So just go ahead and extract the PSX zip and extract the PSX uh, 1.13. Uh, what you're going to want to do with this zip file is you're going to want to extract it to a folder itself because as you see you've got a bunch of separate files here and you don't just want them all over your desktop. Uh, so go ahead and create a folder, call it PS1 emulator, call it whatever you want, doesn't matter. Uh, open that up and then just extract all of the files in that zip to this folder. Alright, so now you've got your PS1 emulator. This will run, but it will do absolutely nothing without the BIOS file. When you run it for the first time, it's going to ask you for your language right here. See, this emulator requires a BIOS image which must be installed in the BIOS folder. Alright, so this is absolutely useless. Uh, you can go ahead and exit out of that. Uh, you don't even need to run it beforehand if you don't want. Uh, as you can see here, you've got a folder within the emulator folder called BIOS. Just go ahead and go into that folder and delete the file that's present. Open up this folder that you downloaded. This has got all the BIOS files from different versions of the same BIOS file. Um, it really doesn't matter which one you use. The most stable one, though, tends to be the SCPH1001 bin. So go ahead and copy that and put that in the BIOS folder. And then rerun the PlayStation emulator. It's going to ask you this question again, asking you to find the BIOS file. You're going to hit OK. It's going to open up this window, navigate to the BIOS folder, and there you go. There it is. So select that and hit open. That's letting you know that you did it the right way. Um, you properly loaded the BIOS file. Now you're going to get this screen. Um, this screen is just like, it's kind of like a home menu type of deal for uh, this emulator. Uh, so now that you've got that working, you're, wanna, you're going to want to grab yourself um, the, uh, the game itself, whatever game, whatever PlayStation 1 game you want. Uh, there are many different ways to do this. This emulator accepts image files, which come in the form of dot q dot bin dot image dot sub all of these all of these different type of files here is what this emulator will accept most commonly you'll see the emulation files in q bin and image those are the three most popular or isos i believe this accepts iso yes it does accept isos as well that that'll be another popular format you'll see um so say for example I've been playing Spyro. You're going to jump in your browser, you're going to search Spyro the Dragon ROM or ISO or BIN, whatever type of file format you want. Search around, find which one you want and use download it and use that. Uh, I've got one, a copy of it downloaded here. And as you can see, it has a BIN and a Q file in it. 
Um, you can keep these in a separate folder on your computer if you want all your ROMs. What I usually do is I create a folder within the, uh, the emulator folder and I just call it games. So then I can go into the games folder and then copy and paste these, uh, the, uh, the game files over. Now that you've got that, you've got your emulator open, you're going to go file, insert CD image, you're going to go to wherever you have that game, and you're going to load the bin. If, if you have a bin and a Q file that are the same, load the bin. If you've got the ISO, load the ISO, image, image, and etc. Uh, so go ahead and open that, and your game should boot up. As it did in the olden days. <laughs> Uh, after that, it's up to you. Um, there, you've got some different configuration options here for uh, controls and stuff like that. I've actually got mine linked up to a PlayStation 3 controller, uh, so I don't, I don't even have to use the keyboard. I'm playing it with a controller like you would on a PlayStation. Uh, and this works for many different games. I've played Hydro Thunder. Uh, there are different PlayStation 1 games that I've greatly enjoyed because of emulation. This has been No Average Nerd. Thanks for watching. If you've got any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Stick around for more great content. Psst. Hey. Hey, you. You see that button? That subscribe button right there? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Yeah, thanks.